Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to take a look at a Pac-Man card game. So I grabbed it off Amazon. It was less than 10 bucks. It's like an arcade thing. So, got a little bit of nostalgia feel. It's Pac-Man. Not a huge Pac-Man fan though, but I, I like those times in the arcade. So let's check out the card game. See how it looks. Alright, there's a Pac-Man card game. A whole new level. We're going to come in the FFG. Five to ten minutes, two to eight players, six and up. Retro fun for the whole family. It's a colorful and easy game. Will quickly get you hooked. Collect pat dots and fruit, use power ups, and watch out for the ghosts. Two card decks, three levels. Tons of fun. All right. Let's try to keep this somewhat intact. Already tore up the box. Okay, very annoying. Anyway, okay, two decks of cards. Those instructions look a little longer than I would like. Instructions look a little longer, and wow, that is some. <laughs> okay, it's just a bunch of different languages. Like, why is it so much? Why is it so much print? All right. All right. So it's really <laughs> okay. So it's really just one page. Looks like. All right. Setup. To start the game. Shuffle the level one deck. And place it face down. You reach of all players. The player does the best impression of Pac-Man. Gets to go first. Blah blah blah. On your turn, you draw cards or shut down until the end of the game. Wait, what? You can either draw cards or shut down until the end of the game. If you choose to draw cards, draw them one at a time, looking at each card individually. Once you have drawn the card and checked it, you need to decide whether to end your turn, keep drawing cards, or shut down. You can draw up to three cards during your turn. After drawing your third card, you have to end your turn or shut down. Okay, if you draw a pack dot or a fruit, keep it secret and put it into your hand. These cards are worth points. I don't know. I mean, two cards are going to be secret, so how well, secret that is. Um, to add your score at the end of the game. If you draw a ghost, keep it secret and put it into your hand. If you ever have three ghosts in your hand, you're knocked out in the game. If you're knocked out, put your hand face up in front of you. If you draw a power up, put it face up in front of you and do what it says. Check the special rules section to find out more about these effects. Remember when players who have shut down or been knocked out by ghosts can be affected by power-ups. For the game to end, all players must either shut down or be knocked out by ghosts. All right, I'm open it up. Very slick. All right, so these are all got ones on them. There, I guess that's the one. Mm, maybe not. Special cards, we'll go over those, I guess. Let's see what some of these cards do. Uh, so I think these are just bonus cards. So it's two ghosts on it. So I must count. That's two. Towards your three. So that's not good. Then you have your power pellet. And that looks like it's reverse order, like an Uno. I'm sure, this is probably a skip. Let's see. So we got ghost cards, bonus cards, maze cards. And we got power pellet. Power pellet. Doesn't say. Oh, that's the. Uh, Draw a pack dot or a fruit cup, keep it secret, and put it in your hand. These cards are worth points. Have your score. I don't see those symbol. No special cards, okay. Up in the ghost. 
Take one ghost from your hand and give it to another player. If you have no ghost in your hand, just discard this card. All right, so if you draw this, you have a ghost, go to another player, like a gotcha. Oh, are these different? All right, so that one is, I'm not sure what that is. What the symbol says, choose two players, this, hand, this includes yourself, these swap hands. If you're the only player who hasn't shut down or been knocked out by the ghost, just discard this card. Okay, so it's hand swap. Give a ghost. And there's another one. What's this? Choose one player, they skip their next turn. So, here's that skip. And we have one more here that says choose one player, choose how many cards that player draws on their next turn from one to three. All right, so you can force it. So I guess in deck two, there's a couple extra power ups. So I don't see them in this deck. Double check. Yeah, these are all the ones. Which are level one, level two. Seems like an easy game. I'm gonna definitely in the name of kind of like Uno and stuff, pick up and play a couple of hands. Yeah, what did it say? It said like, yeah, five to 15 minutes. With some gotcha. So that is a quick overview of the Pac Man whole new level card game. Card stock's decent. It's a little, it's not the best, but it's decent. And the art is pretty good. Looks like Pac-Man stuff. Looks like, you know, that era. If you're a Pac-Man fan or a retro gamer, you might want to pick this up. It's under 10 bucks. It's nostalgia, I think, more than anything, though. There might be better Press Your Luck games out there. But I haven't played it in full. It seems like it's just an okay game. Thanks for watching Triple R.